So we're going to talk about one of the most common problems that people run into when they bring all of their tests into the cloud testing environment. And that is when tools try to optimize for the environment that they're running in so that the tests run as efficiently as possible. And let's see how that becomes a problem when you're running on Circle CI. So I have a build running here and I've enabled SSH. So we're gonna go into the container and see that it's running here and that I've also got HTOP running so that we can see some of the stats. And what you'll notice is that it thinks it has access to 32 cores, which is a lie. It only has access to two of the cores that are available on this environment which it's running in. And so the problem is that tools will try to optimize for 32 cores when in reality they only have two. So let's Let's take a look at Jest, for example, which is a test runner for JavaScript. We can see here that they have this flag called max workers. Now, why would they have this flag? If we go down here, we can see by default, we'll spawn a number of workers based on the available cores. So if HTOP thinks that it has 32 cores. Guess what? Jest is also going to think it has 32 cores. And when you're building these bigger JavaScript applications, that is going to quickly run you into memory issues. And so what you want to do is tell Jest to only use two workers. So you need to be aware of how your tools are running in the cloud environment and how they're optimizing themselves. Usually they'll have some sort of configuration option or CLI option for you to control the number of workers or threads that it's going to spawn in trying to do its job. So that's a Circle CI quick tip that could come in handy for you. Do like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more videos. And that's it. Thanks for watching.